everyone, Jessica here with another layout for the ThermoWeb design team. And today I'm showing you a different way to use the foils um, if you do not own a laminating machine. So I am taking this Simple Stories Family Fun Collection. It's an oldie, older one, but a goodie. And I have pulled this out because I thought it would be just perfect for some birthday party photos. Um, of my son's recent birthday party of him turning five. So I am using this um, ruler that I have that has kind of a, a shape. It's like a wavy shape on it. And I have just used it to mark out a section of this paper on the back side, and then I cut it out. And then I just trimmed off the other edges that were already cut. So I could make some um, other strips here for the top and bottom. And I am just distressing those edges. And then I am matting my photo here with some smooth white cardstock and some easy tear tape. I'm going to pop that down right on top of these little waves that I just made. And I'm just layering them up because I want to use this to tuck in little numbers and little foiled goodies to this layout. So I am going to pull out my manual die cutting machine here in a second. You'll see um, I'm actually cutting a little notch in the top and bottom here because I really like that pattern paper, but I wanted to show a little bit more of it so I just cut a couple notches here and then I'm just using that ruler just to um, actually crease down those edges so I'm just going to tuck a couple pieces of that pattern paper just so those cute little stars show through here and I'll adhere that down with my um, tape runner so I'm going to map my photo again using one of the other pattern papers from this collection. This is like a red little puzzle piece pattern. This is actually a game night type of collection, but I'm using it for these birthday party photos because the colors in it just matched so perfect with the theme that I had, which was a cars theme. So I thought it would just be perfect for this. So I'm going to go ahead and start sticking down these layers with more of that easy tear tape. And I'm just going to pop down my top and bottom ones first. That way I know exactly where my center one needs to lay. And I know that I'm not going to have any space or anything. But I'm only taping them down in the one spot, um, which is in the middle of the middle one. And then in the bottom of the top one and the top of the bottom one, if that makes sense. That way I have room and um, space that I can actually tuck things into those layers and they're kind of free. So there I'm just adhering down those little pattern pieces to my notches. I used my little tape runner for that, which I absolutely love. And then I'm going to pull out this easy tear tape. I'm going to peel off the backing off of one side, and you can see it's sticky there, and attach it to a piece of 6 by 6 inches of white smooth cardstock. And then I'm pulling out my dies by Ellie Studio, and I'm just going to use the number 5. So I'm cutting that off with my wire clippers here real quick. And then I am just going to pull up my manual die cutting machine and I'll pull it on screen so you can watch me do this and see exactly how I do it. Um, but it wasn't sticking to my magnetic mat through all of that um, adhesive and my cardstock and everything. So I just pulled a little piece of pixie tape and put it over there just to hold that down. So I'm just going to keep moving this die, keeping that pixie tape on there. It's removable. so. Um, you can kind of move it around and it'll still stay sticky for you. So I just keep reusing that same one. And I cut all these little fives out, as you can see, to scatter across my page there. And then I'm just pulling out my sticker sheet here so I can finish off my title. My title is going to say Fast and Five, which is actually what his shirt said. I think his, his shirt actually said Five and Fast, but um, I thought it would just be cute to use that five first on this layout and use that as my title. So that's where I'm getting that from and I'm just using the little letters that come in the sticker book with the collection then here I'm pulling out some various foils to match those stars in the pattern paper so I've pulled out some gold and red and pretty much all the colors that are in that except for green I think um, I pull out some orange and some aqua or teal I think I used teal in the end and um, I'll list all the colors below in the description with the links in case you want to grab any of those from the shop. But I am pulling out all these colors. I am peeling off the top piece of the backing and then just sticking down the foil directly to it. And then I'm running it through my die cutting machine again, 
just to apply some pressure. And the pressure is what creates that um, adhesion whenever you run it through with the foil. So then I'm running these through and whenever I pull them back out is when the foil is done and transferred. I didn't use heat on this one at all. I just used it with the pressure. And when I pull them off, I did find it's a lot easier to actually keep them laying down on my Big Shot mat here and just pull the foil away from the number. So whenever I tried to pull the number off of the foil from the back side, I did that with my, um, my title number five there. It actually kind of had some resistance and didn't really want to pull off and tried to pull up the foil off of the adhesive. So I found it's just a lot easier to just kind of hold it down in place on your Big Shot mat or on your table or something and just kind of pull away. So here I'm trying to pull one off of there. It doesn't work as good. So here is where I figured out that if I just hold that down a little bit and just peel off the foil like this, it works a lot better. So just a little tip for you if you try this. I'm just going to scatter these about my layouts and keep building this up. I'm going to add a whole bunch more embellishments around these little fives. Um, I'm actually going to do the same thing with the foil and cut out a whole bunch of these little stars as well. So I'm just cutting these out of my, um, my already backed with cardstock easy cut adhesive sheets. And then I'm just going to foil these as well. So it's a pretty easy layout today, so if you want to scrap lift it, feel free to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to continue building this layout up, and I'm going to just add a whole bunch of these stars, foil these stars, add them in with my layout, and that's going to be my main embellishment, is these little foiled fives and foiled stars. So this one came together really super easily with all these little foils and these dies that I have from my stash. And um, I do add a few embellishments from that sticker sheet yet, but um, not too much. I really didn't have to add much to it because it really turned out great with just all these little foily bits. So I'm going to pop some music in here for a little bit and then I will pop back in towards the end and show you the finished layout. So I'm just continuing to build this up. I did add some black splatters with my Heidi Swap Color Shine in black, and then I'm using my Ultra Bond Liquid Glue to adhere down all of these cute little foiled bits. And then I'm just continuing to build up all of these embellishments and my layers. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my photo down at this point here, because I know that's exactly where I want it to go. And I'm just using some more of that Easy Tear Tape, and super easy, just like the name of it is. You just stick it down and then peel off the backing, and it is literally stuck for life now. <laughs> that stuff is super, super sticky, and I just love it. So I'm just going to continue popping down all the rest of these little cute foily bits and continue building this. Thank you.
just going to add a few sequins here with some sequins from the Not Just For Boys Kit Club. And I'm just going to staple down these flaps to finish these off with my little Tim Holtz tiny attacher stapler. And then I'm just going to add my date stamp and that's going to finish this one up. So thank you guys so much for being here and for watching today. I appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you for following my creative journey as always. And I hope I've inspired you to create something beautiful today. So here's the finished look results. And I'll show you some close-ups here with that beautiful foiled goodness. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.